today I'm going to take you on a shopping trip in Costco for my family of five. I try to do all my grocery shopping at Costco once a month. Grocery shopping is not my favorite thing to do and being able to put it all into one or two times a month is huge for me. So I'm gonna take you through and show you exactly what I get. Usually my kids are with me this time they were. When they're not, I like to get bigger things like paper towels, but when I've got them all in the cart, I have to keep it simple. First fruit, I always go for the organic if I can. These apples are a nice snacking size for the kids. I get tons of bananas too. Uh, the mangoes were organic this time around when we were there, so we grabbed some of those also, which we use in smoothies. My kids just devour raspberries and they're a great price, so we got those. I did throw in some strawberries. This was the only fruit that wasn't organic. Um, then we also grab a watermelon, so I get a ton of fruit and usually I can make it last almost a full month. I also get my organic vegetables here, green beans. I throw them in the oven with some Parmesan. Um, my kids love to have cucumbers on the side at dinner with some dipping sauce. They also love to snack on celery with a little bit of peanut butter. And then I also like to get spinach that I can throw into quesadillas and again, get them kind of that veggie fill. The avocados aren't organic, but with the tough skin, they're a little safer to go non-organic. I also like to get a prepared meal. So this was like a chicken Alfredo pasta. This is um, some tortellini that I got. I freeze one of the packages, and then I also like to get some little protein packs with cheese and salami. I get all my organic meat here, so usually I go for chicken thighs, chicken breasts, and then I'll freeze them most of them in my freezer. I also get sausage. We love this premio Italian sausage. It's great, just easy dinner with some uh, cut up peppers in the oven. I also get my tuna here and then I like to get like a prepared salad that we can have on the side with a couple of dinners. My kids love the organic hummus. They'll have it with some carrots for a snack and they all kind of devour this Greek yogurt, which is great. So I don't really buy any kids yogurt. We just go for that. Uh, tortilla chips for snacking I like to get the skinny pop popcorn as well I try to get some larger bag snacks that I can divide up but I also like to get snacks that are easily transportable like these individually wrapped almond butter biscuits I can just throw them in my bag and have a snack ready without bagging it uh, we do do the chicken nuggets as well and then like I said when my kids aren't with me I will get some bigger items like paper towels but not this time I also get all of my organic milk here at a great price and um, the tortillas are for uh, quesadillas and then I get my breads here. Um, I love the Dave's Hello. Killer bread. It's organic. That's I also like to get Hawaiian rolls here, which are great for when I'm making little meatball sliders or sandwiches. And then the Benza pasta has a great um, protein component, so that's really good for you. This <laughs> macaroni and cheese is not, but it's an easy dinner when I'm just kind of tapped out. I also get my organic peanut butter from here. Another thing I get in freeze is cheese. So this big sliced cheese, I always have sliced cheese yeah. for grilled cheeses and then I also do the baby bell cheeses for snacks I love these waffles with a dollop of some Greek yogurt, a little syrup, and raspberries. It's like the greatest little dessert. Speaking of the dessert, I like the keto bars as well. I have like one a night. I get my diapers at Costco too for a really good price, way better than Amazon. This haul cost me $468 and it will last me three weeks, which is really good for a family of five. At the end, I treat me and my kids to a little dinner that is so cheap. I mean, a soda and a hot dog for $1.50. You cannot beat it. This whole grocery haul feels a lot easier when I can just give them dinner at the end and nobody's coming home hungry and upset. By freezing items like meat and cheese and even the tortellini pasta, I can really hold us over for a long time and I don't have to brave the grocery store every single week, which is awesome. For more tips and tricks like this, like and subscribe and you can find me over on Mom Easier showing you all the ways I make motherhood a little bit easier. Thanks for joining me.